we are now going to install this cold fusion software and place that inside our XAMPP server so remember that I told you you need to have Microsoft C++ 2012 redistributable for your system unless until then this uh, cold fusion software won't run on your system so this will take quite a long time I'll pause the video for a minute and I'll come back when it's complete and the window is open so the window in front of me is now open so let's start installing this Adobe Cold Fusion 11 click next accept the license click next again and because we'll be using the developer edition to practice our codes we won't need a serial number so choose this developer edition click next again and choose the uh, the basic server configuration and click next again we'll be using the developer profile development profile in this we'll have server debugging and R RDS enabled for server server debugging the process of using the server debugging will help us to identify where the codes go wrong this is very important when our applications are being developed in a in such an environment so click next again you don't need to do anything onto this let them stay as they are click next again choose a password and an username for for your admin confirm the password next again and in here we won't be allowing any third parties to access our uh, server or our uh, cold fusion services so this should be this radio button should be left blank click next again and choose the folder where you have kept your uh, XAMPP uh, XAMPP server where you have installed your XAMPP server I think I did Yep. click inside this XAMPP folder and click onto this htdocs because through this htdocs you'll be able to access the admin panel and all the uh, cold fusion features using your browser so create a separate folder for cold fusion we'll be keeping our uh, software and all the codes inside this folder click OK next again and for our web server we'll be using our XAMPP that we recently installed click to add and this will fetch a new window then choose Apache now go back to the XAMPP folder again locate the folder where you have installed your XAMPP server and after it's open click on Apache and we will need the config file folder for this click OK so this is the configuration directory the next thing will is the binary file uh, that we will need to use in this case so go back to your XAMPP folder and click on Apache and the binary folders are contained in this bin folder and for the binary part we'll be using HTTP D dot ex uh, executable file click select and OK so our cold fusion software has recognized the server and accepted it as its default server click next again retype the admin password that you want next again we don't need this remote development service because we'll be only using it as a local host uh, as a local host which means for only our development purpose in our computer and if you want your server to check your cold fusion software to check updates you can tick this box but I don't need this so I won't be using that click next again and your software is ready to be installed 
click on to install I'll pause the video for a few moments and I'll come back after the installation is so here we are now the installation is complete and the software will give you an address uh, a local host a, a loopback address with your administrative credentials and paste it somewhere relevant create uh, a new text document and paste it in here it's not important to paste it because it will be launched automatically so click on done let's wait for a minute so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like this video and stay tuned for more more videos on cold fusion I'll be doing an entire series on it so stay tuned so guys I think you will face a problem with the uh, default address that the software provides so the simple solution is to go to your computer open the disk or drive where you have kept your uh, XAM folder click on the XAM folder and click on htdocs now in here I've created a separate folder called cold fusion you'll find the administrative page inside cfusion then inside wwroot and cfide in which there's another folder called administrator so let's take this entire path and paste it here now we don't need all of these folder locations but we need to write localhost remove the backward slash and replace them with forward slashes and here we go so this will successfully open the page but if you write at the end index.cfm this will actually prompt a download uh, box for the file to be downloaded so we don't need that we want the page to be run uh, we want the page to be running so then provide the password that you chose for the administration and this will take a moment So now here we are. The server is configured successfully. Now click OK. And our administration page is successfully installed and we can now write our code and place them inside the server and test them as we go along. After we have downloaded Notepad++, we can view it by going to start, clicking on Notepad. It will produce an empty editor. Now we will need to install the plugin that will understand CFML language. Go to bitbucket.org. Don't worry, I'll give you the links and you'll find npp coldfusion.zip file. Download it and you'll get another file, a zip file like this. Click on right click and extract here. You'll get a library file with an extension .dll and a configuration file named config we'll, we'll be needing both of this we'll be installing the plugin manually first open up the path where you have installed your notepad plus plus I have saved my one in D drive so I'll be clicking on it and I'll find notepad plus plus then I'll go back and I'll copy this DLL file copy and in plugins folder I'll paste it now we will work with the config folder there are two files one is XML and the other is the DB3 copy both of them then again go to the config file in notepad++ and paste it after we have installed the plugin manually we need to check whether notepad recognizes it go to start fire up your notepad++ after it appears, click on this plugins button. You'll find Cold Fusion Lexer, which means it has successfully installed a plugin. 
Now let's see whether it recognizes the code. Perhaps it doesn't. If it did, it would start coloring up your code. This is a problem. Now we need to solve it. To solve the problem, we will first need to go to computer again. Now, this time, we will choose C. Now go to users. Go to your computer's username. My one is Dell with a lock symbol here because this must be run through administrative permission. Click here. Now go to app data then again go to roaming and now find notepad plus plus click here then go back to your downloads folder copy the dll file and back to the notepad plus plus folder open up plugins and paste it then go back to the downloads folder click on your config file folder sorry and copy all the files then again back to the plugins folder paste it inside the config folder I already pasted it before that's why it was showing that message before going any further we first need to check whether our solution will work first go to notepad plus plus create a new file or save it as a CFM file which is for cold fusion find dot CFM at the end of the list and I'll name it new and I'll save it on my desktop now let's uh, let's write some code You see that? It's coloring up the code and it's also completing my code. The last thing that we'll be looking into today is how to download the SQL library plugin for Notepad++. I've pasted in two of the links. One will take you directly to the download page and the other will take you directly to the download. I'll be working with the direct download link. After you're done with your download, you'll get... You'll get another zip file like this extracted here you see you'll get another .dll library file after we have extracted the files we need to paste it in two of the places that like we have done for the cold fusion plugin first open up the path where you have installed your notepad I have installed my one in D D drive notepad click on plugins and then go back to your downloads folder copy the dll library file and paste it in your plugins folder then again we'll have to do the same thing in our c drive like we have done for the cold fusion plugin so go back to your c drive find out users click your computer's username my one's dell as i've told you click on app data and click on roaming then find out notepad plus plus load your plugins folder and as you can see i've already pasted it in my folder so i don't need to paste it any further if you didn't do it before then go and paste it so we have reached the end of the video we have learned how to install download all the softwares from editors to the cold fusion 11 and the xam server we have learned how to install the cold fusion 11 uh, into our xam server now it's time we start coding so happy coding and salam and don't forget to like my videos goodbye